I've been a volunteer with the National Trust uh, for just on five years. I've always been interested in history and I thought this was a good opportunity to be personally involved and uh, also give something back to the community as a volunteer. So the volunteers pulled it to pieces, we rebuilt it and made it into a working heart. I'm preserving something and giving something back to the community as a whole and anyone who's interested. I've always loved the native vegetation. I like to see the locally indigenous native plants. As I walk through any area, if I see a bad weed, I'm likely to pull it up. I think you've got to thank the National Trust in bringing Ayers House into what it needed to be after it had been a nursing home for the Royal Adelaide Hospital. The story is um, basically that Sir Henry and Lady Ayres have gone out to a big function. The butler decides that perhaps we could let some outsiders come in to have a look around the house while the family are out. I'm a volunteer at Ayres House Museum on North Terrace. And at the moment I'm dressed up because we're doing night tours by candlelight of Ayres House as part of History Week. They meet the staff and generally hear from a staff member what their duties are and what they're actually doing in preparation for the family coming home a bit later in the evening. I've been with Ayres House for just over seven years. Working as a volunteer, especially with the National Trust, I find exceptionally rewarding. I love history, meeting people literally from all walks of life. I love the, the furnishings. They're very authentic for the Victorian period and they're very elegant, lovely rooms. What it brings is a marvellous place and, and uh, those wonderful women who created it, they did a, a wonderful job. I've been involved with the National Trust since the early 1970s. I work on many different reserves owned by both the National Trust and by National Park. Uh, I'm very familiar with very many different sorts of vegetation types. The National Trust in South Australia owns many natural reserves and with the Nature Preservation Committee we inspected all the reserves monitored the plants, the birds, anything else we could find on them and recorded all of this. As far as what a Paringa was concerned, there was a management committee formed to look after the reserve in 1973 and I was on that committee from the very beginning. Overall, we as the National Trust Museum want to preserve Strathalbyn's history and uh, we have a lot of artefacts inside the museum and as you can see outside in the machinery area, we're trying to display a dry land farm era of what Strathalbyn actually started off as. The museum itself is 160 years old approximately. When you go into the museum, the pioneer display of course, has exhibits of the original settling families of Strathalbyn, which is 1830s or thereabouts. We've got an old thresher which was used in the district back in 1860s. The horse works is an 1870s which was made in Adelaide, which is very rare. I'm perfect work of order, I must say, because of the whole thing. You have to preserve and you have to keep the story going. Otherwise, generations to come won't understand what it's all about. Well, I think it's very important that people do know something about the history of uh, their estate, about uh, how things were and therefore how things may be in the future. Many people do like to help in projects they believe in, and you believe it's important work, then I think you will volunteer to, to help with that work. By being a volunteer, it also is, of course, a social outlet. You do get very good friendships going. We try and maintain a position where people want to keep on coming back.
the main thing is they come here and I come here because I want to. You don't come here because you have to. And it doesn't matter if you only do one hour a week or 20 hours a week. Whatever you do is necessary. The future of the Trust lies in people again volunteering, uh, seeing their passions and volunteering to keep the heritage value of the National Trust going, because that's what it's for. Thank you.